Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Barit Vlogs. I hope you all are doing fine. So um, it's been a while since I posted any video on YouTube. I was occupied with some ceremony at home, and then I had plans of going on to Rider Mania for 2019 and also the IBW Week for 2019. But then it happened, unfortunately. Now uh, there was something else that I was uh, planning on. So uh, yeah, this year I'm gonna start off with a South Indian ride, and eventually I'm gonna have multiple rides planned on along this year. Uh, I have plans to uh, you know go on for Leila Dark trip as well so that's gonna happen so meanwhile I've been occupied upgrading the bike for the upcoming trip the southern India trip is gonna be like 3500 kilometers so I wanted to make sure the bike is more comfortable and uh, on, on perspective of safety as well so I have installed the handguards and uh, the LED lights on the number plate just to make sure the bike is visible during night time especially in this season where there's a lot of fog on the road so uh, yeah it's, it's gonna be more easy for people to identify the bike so I also had the seat modified for the trip so I've posted all the updates on Instagram if you haven't followed me uh, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram I've already given my Instagram handle name below Instagram for live updates so let's go ahead and see what the kind of different kind of modifications I've done for the bike starting off with the LED lights that I got on the num plate so I got these from JC Road. E each LED light costed me around 100 rupees. So uh, they had they are double filament LED lights. So I had to install them myself. Um, they flicker as well as they stay constant in two different modes. So I have designed it accordingly. And I have done the wiring accordingly for that. costed me around 950 from JC Road so I installed them the reason for installing these handguards was for two reasons one is because to safeguard my hand especially when you are on highways it usually happens that the trucks that go on the highways they have small pebbles stuck in between the tires that spin off and you can get yourself hurt on the knuckles and the hand so that was one reason the other reason was uh, for the cold when you when you're riding fast the there is cold breeze that hits on your hand though though we 
wear gloves. It's all uh, it's always safe to have those hand guards on. So yeah, I got the I got those done as well. I installed them myself. It wasn't a big task. The final thing that uh, I got done was the seat modification. I was loitering around JC Road to find a good kind of seat modification guy who could uh, do justice to the seat. It was a new seat by the way. So there was not much to do but uh, just to make sure that um, you know uh, an additional layer of cushion could be added, uh, an additional layer of foam could be added on the seat and making it more comfortable for longer rides. Alright, so I came in search of a shop that could provide me good seat covers and I, and I was trying to search for shops on the whole Mavali Main Road and Lal Bagh Fort Road. I came across this tiny shop. Um, I just checked with them and they diverted me to the warehouse. I just happened to step up and I saw a big kind of a storage space and also a workshop. That's pretty decent. The workmanship is also very good. So what I had to do was to uninstall the seat from the bike myself and I had to carry it along to the shop, to the workshop there where they actually uh, did the whole thing. So it was a very good job done and I got the bike back and installed it myself. And I also got a fuel tank cover um, customized for myself because last time when I was using the tank bag on the Uti trip. There were a few scratches that were on the bike so I knew that for longer rides it's gonna be a problem. So I wanted something that could be covering the top layer of the fuel tank. So I got that cover done as well.
so that was it guys regarding the upgrades that i did for the bike and uh, yeah uh, if you like the video please hit the like button share this video among your friends and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please turn on the bell notification icon and yeah be regarding the preparation vlog uh, this was it but i'm gonna shoot a different vlog with all the different things that i'm carrying on this trip uh, so that will come with the first video of this series so yeah please follow me on instagram as well so the initial ride start date that i had planned was 4th of jan uh, that's the upcoming saturday but i heard that there's gonna be an india wide closure happening on jan 8th so i'm being a bit skeptical about starting off the ride before the india closure but i'm not sure when the actual ride is gonna start now if i see that everything's gonna be fine i'm gonna start off on 4th itself probably or i'll start off from 6th of jan so that's all for now uh, thank you for watching this video take care bye bye peace Thank mm -hmm. you.